the spot here above my stairs that has basically always been empty next to my unused guest bathroom. And I always thought something should go here. Never knew what. It's a thin space. But, um, I figured maybe a bookshelf would be a good thing because it could be thin, thin enough to not block the inspector is back to not block, you know, the walkthrough here and uh, it'll be a place to put your books and be built in. I think it's a good idea, so let's see what we can do. The first thing we're going to do is measure the width of the opening here. About 37 inches. One inch over three feet, so that's going to be interesting. So, I got some top choice pine from Lowe's and I'm going to figure out how tall I need the shelves to be. I've got a hardback book and a paperback here so you can see the difference. So I'm just going to go with the hardback book to calculate the maximum height. So the total here including the shelf is about 10 a little over 10, 10 and a quarter, so I'm going to go 11 and a half, so there's plenty of room. I'm going to leave a little space at the bottom between the floor and the first shelf. A random amount, doesn't have to be anything specific, whatever looks good to you. So I marked that, and I came up 11 and a half here, and another 11 and a half, and marked that as well. Since that looks pretty good to me, I'm going to go ahead and transfer my marks to a side piece. I can do the first one, which I kind of eyeballed anyway, and then mark 11 and a half and 11 and a half. If I place a piece of the shelf in place, you, I can see that it sticks out a little past the door here, the door frame. So what I'm going to do is rather than use the full six inch, is go and cut it down just a little bit so it matches the frame. Not everybody's going to have this situation, but just in case, you kind of got to do what you got to do. The actual width is going to be four and seven eighths. Out in the workshop, I'm going to cut the right side of the bookcase to the measured length. And since the left side is the same length, we're going to measure the piece I just cut, mark it, and cut the left side. Now since I have less, less space on the left side because of the door frame, I'm going to cut this down to just fit inside. So I'm going to mark it, then rip it on the table saw. shelf is actually going to be a little bit longer because it's going to be a custom fit. I want it to cover the edges of the vertical sides, so I'm re-measuring to make sure I've got 37 and a quarter. That should be a nice tight fit across there. Okay, I'm going to measure the length 
at 37 and a quarter. And slice that down. check just put it in vertically to check to see if it fits because I haven't cut this out yet it's a nice tight fit which is very nice nice is nice so need to make a little template here for the piece to fit smoothly around here I'm going to have to take some of it off here oops I need some scissors. Okay, I cut the slice in here. Fits in nicely. And then the rest of it comes around this way. It's not perfectly straight. It's at an angle, so we kind of want to capture that angle. There we go. And I'm just going to trace that crease and cut that out. And now I have a pretty swell angle cut there. Now since I measured the width of the top to be four and three quarters to kind of match up with the bathroom door frame, I need to rip off just a little bit on the top of this thing. side I've got to make that angle cut to fit in there between the wall and the door so I've got my template I'm going to mark it it's going to continue and then I'm going to cut it with a handsaw This ain't the new Yankee workshop. Now we're going to class this project up a little bit by hitting it with the Roman OG router bit. Here is 35 and 7 eighths. 
Now we'll give it a tight fit. better if I had more hands. And of course we're going to class these up as well by ogifying them. on each side to hold the shelves. So I'm going to put a little, I've already got it marked. I'm going to put some glue on this little cleat I made out of uh, spare leftovers. And I'm gonna put it right where it goes. And I'm going to put in a couple of finish needles to hold it while the glue We want it relatively straight. And then one on the top. And then the other side. And finally, we install the shelves. Just to make sure they look good. So there you have it. Just add a little stain, and you're done. Now all you have to do is load it up with your favorite books, or whatever, and you can enjoy. What the hell is that?